Welcome back to Chaotic Reunion, I'm Avie once again, and here we are back in The Legend of Zelda The Biddish Cap. In the last episode, we made our way down towards this part of Hyrule Field and got a Kid Stone Piece, woo! And we went hard piece hunting in the last episode, as well as made some progress, and totally nothing happened at the castle up in Hyrule, nothing at all. Clearly nothing that will impede our progress when we have to visit it later. Clearly not. But in this episode, we're going to make our way towards Castor Wilds, where the next piece, or next element is said to be held. All right, Moblins, you gotta go. You gotta go, Moblins. You wanna go, bitch? You gotta go, bitch. All right, what's up here? Castor Wilds, danger, don't forget your Pegasus boots. I don't have a Pegasus boots, but I'll be fine. Clearly, ow, you jerk. His Octoroks are like, nope, he's a bitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna say bitch a lot, I don't know why. Alright, here we are. So this must be Castor Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know that there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go, come on Link, into the muck with us. Alright, you heard him. Let's go ahead and break this for any potential stuff, and let's go! Oh no, oh no, oh god, Wind Waker, it's coming back to me, oh. I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross the swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. Huh. You have anything else to say? Hmm, according to the map, we'll need to cross Castor Wilds. Alright then. I'm gonna have to find some way to cross safely, huh? Well, the only thing we can really do about that is perhaps head down to... Uh, back to town. Maybe we can find something of use there. Let's head down that way. And, uh, ask. And we did just do this over here, which should lead us to South Hyrule Field, yes? Yep, and indeed it does. Hooray! Let's go in over... Oh, there's, there's a wall to bomb here. And a kid's stone piece! We need those, because there's a, a heart piece I'm gonna need soon that actually would require me to have uh, some kid's stone pieces, which is nice. Ah, fairies! Yeah, I'll leave you, you people there. Remember, everyone... Help me join the fairy preservation movement to make sure that we do not harm fairies and don't force them in bottles. Our deaths are our own, and that's an extra bit of challenge for your adventures as you go along in the Legend of Zelda universe. All right, well, there's this place with shoes on top of it, so why don't we go in here? Oh. Oh, my. Um... I mean, these shoes were knocked over. So why don't we go ahead and turn Minish and go up this ladder-like thing right here. See? There we go. And there's Minish here! And it's this little story! It's the story of uh, how the little, the little people helped the shoemaker in making his shoes. It's cute. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword from Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who'd make my shoes for him? Oh, you need Pegasus boots? Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Ram was sleeping, but only Ram can put the finishing touches on them. Aha, uh -huh, that sleepyhead Ram is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get him an item from Sierra's hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Alright, looks like we're making it down that way, and, uh, that's not, we cannot access that normally via, uh, the Minish Woods, so we're gonna actually have to take a little bit of a detour. Hey, hey, Rem has some other urgent business he should be working on, so please wake him up as soon as you can. Time's a wasting. Oh, you've done all we can with your shoes. You'll need to go to Syrup's Hut so you can get the finishing touches. He, they just keep talking. <laughs> like that, they stop talking to resume talking. It's a little annoying. All right, let's go ahead and get up here, and now we can go along our way and go to Syrup's Hut. Which, in order to get there, we're gonna have to make our way through Lon Lon Ranch. Which we passed by earlier at some point. Soldier! Of course there's no light force here. What was I thinking? Stupid, stupid. Is that person looking for the light force? Clearly nothing that we possibly could know at all as to why someone would be looking for the light force. Kidstone piece! Getting lucky with finding Kindle pieces. I'm usually not that lucky. Oh, hey, it's the ranch girl we found from a while ago. Oh. You got a kid stone piece! Woohoo! What a pain. I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk. I lost my key and I can't get inside. And the spare key's inside the house. Oh. 
Well, well, I can I can just turn tiny over here behind this hay bale where they don't see us, which is clever because the level design makes it so clearly they're not supposed to be able to see you. But uh, hey, it's a thing. All right, well, there's a little thing I gotta go ahead and get big over here. There's jars everywhere with the spare key, Lon Lon Ranch key. Now you can open the ranch door. Can I just exit? Or does he need to do that? I guess it's probably for the best that I can't pop out of their house and be like, What were you doing in there? Which would be annoying. Well, not annoying, but uh, it would be uh, wrong, to s per se. Alright, let's go pop down and uh, talk to you. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to uh, you, Talon. Oh, our one and only spare key! I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Thank you very much, Link. Come and, get, come and visit us again. All right, well, I'll definitely go inside of here. And uh, in case you didn't notice before I started talking to our good buddy Talon, uh, um, he, ha he did have a kinstone thing that popped up, didn't he? I'm not insane. Huh. All right, then. Also, where did Malon go at this point? Like, is she, is she a wizard? Is she a wizard? She's a wizard. All right. Oh, how tranquil. And these cows look so delicious. Ezlo. Is it for their milk? Do you want their milk? Or do you, do you want something else, Ezlo? Ezlo, we're not, we're not going to eat the cows, Ezlo. We're not, we're not doing it. Anyway, if we come up here, there's a little cave. We can go ahead and exit. Nothing too fancy schmancy, but if we go and open up this chest, and we get 50 rupees. And there's a ladder up here that we can go and visit further ahead, which leads us up here, which, uh, for now, is nothing special. So we'll go ahead and hop down. You see this tree over here? This tree is gonna go ahead and uh, shining. And it shines for a reason. We cannot do anything with that just yet. We will most certainly do it at some point, however. All right, this here. Lake Hylia, and this down goes to Syrup the Witch's Hut. We want to head down because, well, for now, there's nothing we can do in Lake Hylia except for walk in and drown because, as you're aware, we can't swim. Alright, so with our acquired cane of Pocky, we can go ahead and fly up here. And we can turn Minish if we want to, but what do we want to because we don't need to be Minish at this time. We could go down that way, actually. That is probably a very good reason to be Minish. But I'm going to hold off on doing that just for just right now. We And we're going to go ahead and take the long and the long process of getting down to Syrup the Wishes Hut. We Oh, I, I almost got stopped there. That was a little weird. All right. Go ahead and take that out. And now we come in here and we are in Lake Hylia, but not the complete like late like I like we still have we're on the very edge of it and there's no way we could possibly get in here further this way to mayor of Hagen's lakeside cabin huh his lakeside cabin well we'll go ahead and visit that at some point I'm sure they wouldn't met mark it and mention it if we weren't gonna be there at some point and another kid said wow I'm getting really lucky with the kinstone pieces nice to grind them out without having to like legitimately stop the videos or like completely just grind everything out. It's nice. It's very nice. Anyway, we come up here and I'll go up here. Syrup the Witch's Hut. I, I just broke her sign by pressing B too fast. Ah, welcome. Care for some Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Please look around. I want this. Ah, yes. A fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That is why it's called the Wake Up Mushroom. If you'd like to buy it for 60 rupees, well, we just require 50 rupees. Oh, it's just 10, 10 rupee loss. Just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop his eyes wide open. Pop! Oh, okay. I'm pressing the text a little too fast, mainly because R is like advances text, which is a little, little annoying. All right. And we head down this way. There is a piece of heart in the Minish Woods that we saw a while ago. So, that's an, one, another piece of heart that we can go ahead and acquire, and now we must make our way back to Hyrule Castle Town, it's Kids Don't Peace! Alright, I'll meet you there, as it's just a little bit of a repetitive trek. Aside from this little instance right here, because, uh, we're just in Lon Lon Ranch now, and we can push this boulder for a shortcut back to that part of the Minish Woods. Alright. 
I will see you back in Hyrule Castle Town. If I recall correctly, and I guarantee that I do, my boy, I think Syrup said if we stand in front of a sleeping person and press R. So here we are in the place. The place to uh, give up. Oh, hang on. Do I, not have, I don't have to equip it, do I? Yeah, I just have to use it. W what? What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake-up mushroom? I should have guessed, so you woke me up. Thanks! I just remember that I have something urgent to do. Yes, my yawning finally helped out. Huh? What now? There are more new shoes. You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. And there we go. Here, take these. These are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. And you got the Pegasus boots, a staple in the 2D Zeldas. Hold the button to run faster and faster than the wind. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with, with shoe problems. Alright, so we've now gotten the Pegasus boots, so we can now sprint and run incredibly fast. This is great for people who are a little bit more impatient and want to move faster. Uh, just be careful, because, you know, you can run into walls. But with the Pegasus boots in hand, why don't we go ahead and visit our good old pal, the Swordsman. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too. Yes, I am ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here, please? You will now learn a the new technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young Swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes, you are fi my finest student. Just equip the sword and Pegasus boots to any button you like. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body, so as, to, so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the swift blade possession technique of training! Watch this. Shoot! Ow. Phew! Now you must try it for yourself. Equip the Pegasus boots and your, and your sword, and then run like crazy! Well, there you have that done, so whoop! And I don't have to run the wall, you know, you're a jerk, you made me run into the wall. Yes, fine work, you learned quickly. I will now give you the Tiger Scroll. If you ever forget that this technique, you can learn again from this scroll. And you learn the Dash Attack Fighting Technique, run like the wind and attack. Alright, and next he's going to ask us, come again when you can jump farther than any other. Oh my god, what, Link jumping? That's not, that's not a thing, you're a liar. You're a liar. Alright, with this in hand, we can now make our way to Castor Wilds. And so we shall shortly. But first, I'm actually going to go ahead and make my way back to Mount Krennel. Because with the with the Kinstone grinding I've been doing, I think we'll be alright to do something before we move in the episode and visit Castor Wilds next time. I'll see you in a minute. So here we are in the Malari Mines, which is wonderful for us to be in. And so we're going to go ahead and talk to Malari himself because if we fuse a Kinstone with him... Uh, do I have the one he would need? Oh my god, I don't. How am I gonna get that one? Here I am actually being excited to go ahead and do that. Red ones are harder to come by, too. Which is annoying. I'm pretty sure red ones are required by combat. Um. Can I fuse with you? Can I at least feel somewhat special? I can. There you go. Let's fuse kinstones. I'm not as happy with this one as I am in any other position. But Malari's actually important. And I guess I'll have to come back with him a little later, uh, after after the Castor Wilds. It's a little annoying, and I, uh, once again, as I've mentioned before, I'm not as familiar with this game as I am, say, with Skyward Sword or any of the 3D Zelda games, because I was a 3D Zelda kid when I grew up and got Minish for the Game Boy Advance, and the reason I never really played uh, the handheld Zelda game Minish that often. A link to the past I got for the Game Boy. Couldn't really do it that well. Was because uh, was I'm no longer, but was when I was younger, very visually impaired. Uh, only recently, having this past year, recovered my uh, sight. So I was never really able to fully enjoy playing handheld games because I really just couldn't see them without headaches of uh, sticking a Game Boy Advance into my face. And this was, mind you, before I think I had I, I, I probably had an SP by the time. Yeah, I had I definitely had an SP by the time uh, Minish was out. So it wasn't backlight problem. It was literally just I couldn't see the small screen that well. Anyway, I say in the next episode of the Legend of Zelda 
the Minish Cap. We are going to use our newfound Pegasus boots to sprint like the wind. Because we're going to make our way to Castle Wilds and actually explore it and see what where the element may be held. I will see you all in the next one.